Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, thank you for joining me for today's video and I hope you're all doing well. Um, so today is the day that I go to see Navi with Becky. Um, but before that I'm just kind of going to um, video what I'm going to be doing throughout the day um, and just kind of show you guys what I'm going to be doing which honestly isn't going to be like loads so don't get too excited um, I need to go back down to the shops at some point like this afternoon so I'll try and take you guys with me then uh, I'm going to take my dog out this morning because um, he needs a walk so I'll take you guys then and you can meet Wilfred um, but yeah so this morning I'm just going to kind of take it easy, um, I've, I'm just waiting for some breakfast to be delivered because I am starving and then um, I'll just let you guys um, see what I'm going to be doing throughout most of the day and then I will be videoing tonight as well. Um, the only thing I'm not going to be videoing, I'm just going to say it now, is when I'm actually getting myself ready, so like my hair and makeup and that's because I'm really really need to concentrate when it comes to that like I um, I just know that I'll sort of end up using the camera as a mirror and um, I'm just not that confident at doing my makeup um, on camera just yet I might get there but um, I might not so um, let's get into the video so this is the man himself Wilfred um, Wilf there you go <laughs> this is little hey uh, he is a labradoodle. Um, he's got his jumper on today because it is very, very cold um, and he's not long been shaven. And he's just seen two of his friends across the road and another one just down here. Um, yes, he's very, very. So he's had his hair cut and it's very cold. So I've put his jumper on. Here we go. So <laughs> he's posing. Um, so I just want to um, say, Wilf has actually been on YouTube before, um, he was in one of uh, Becky's mum's videos with Darcy, uh, their dog. Um, Wilf at the moment I think has just seen a squirrel. Um, I'm also going to put my camera away um, in a minute just because we're by the pond. Yeah, um, he was with Darcy in this video because him and Darcy are like really good friends. And so they were on a walk together. Yeah. Uh, so Wilf has been on YouTube before. It's a very beautiful foggy day. So I'm just on my way to the shops now and I apologise for the noise, but that is the problem in witness. So much traffic. So yeah, I'm just literally just getting one thing, um, and then I'll be going home, and I'll show you what I've bought. Hey guys, so I'm back home. Um, I've been home for a while now, I've not long had lunch, and I'm just watching some Family Guy for the rest of the day until it's ready for me to get ready for tonight. Um, also, I'm wearing my Michael Jackson t-shirt. Um, I just want to give you an update as well on my, um, my sheen thing. So, I still haven't got the jumper, but I think it is with the... Um, it's ready to be posted, hopefully in the next few days. If not, then I'm going to be really, really upset. Um, but yeah, I got in contact with them again yesterday and told them what was going on and... Um, they gave me a tracking number and apparently it's with the Royal Mail now, so fingers crossed it arrives. Um, so I'll just quickly show you what I've bought today. Um, so first thing is the NYX Dewy Finish uh, Setting Spray and I will be using this later. Um, I have got a setting spray, um, a Revolution one, but I'm not that keen on the smell now. I've kind of gone off it. They, I, for some reason I haven't been able to find my favourite um, Revolution setting spray, it's a cookies and cream one and this is a vanilla and coconut one I think. Um, and I don't mind the smell of vanilla or coconut but like because it's not my favourite I'm just kind of getting a bit bored of it. Um, and then the next two things that I bought are some body mists. Um, this one in 
um, is called Aurora Nights and it's by So. Both of them are by So. Um, these were actually buy one get one free so I thought why not and I don't really have body mists that much but um, one of my um, friends at work uses the So body mists a lot and every time um, she every time she uses it they always smell really nice so I thought I'll I'll get some myself so this is Aurora Nights this smells lovely and this is Wild Berries I got um, like two different sizes and um, they were all in the buy one get one free range um, and then I've got e an um, Elf um, eyelid primer um, I've um, I wanted to use a eyeshadow primer tonight um, in the past I've just been using my normal primer but I wanted to um, try an eyelid one again see if that helps and then um, finally I got this really really cute little um, jumper t-shirt kind of thing from TJ Hughes um, and this was £12 and um, I'll try this on later but yeah um, I think I, I, I don't know if I'd class it as a thrift shop but like those kind of places are, are really really growing on me at the moment um, but yeah so um, for now up until to get time to get ready I'm just kind of I'm gonna be chilling out for a bit I might go out with Wilf again but I don't think I'll film again that time um, just because I felt like I didn't really get to spend as much time with him this morning when I was filming him I felt like I could have um, he was probably thinking like why are you doing this like <laughs> uh, but yeah so um when i see you guys next i'll be getting ready to go see navi okay guys so i'm just about to start getting ready now and um, just before i start this part of the video i just want to give you guys an update on the show tonight so it's still going ahead but i can't remember if i told you guys this but we actually did purchase meet and greet tickets um now, unfortunately, the meet and greet part of the show has had to be cancelled because there is quite a rise in COVID cases, I believe. Uh, the lady at the Brindley rang me up about 20 minutes ago and just to inform me that it had been cancelled, um, which is completely understandable, you know, if you think about it. Obviously, I am, I am a bit gutted, but, you know, it's just the way it is, isn't it? And um, obviously, some people are still very, very cautious about COVID, especially when it comes to performances and that and Navi I believe um, is very very um, cautious and professional when it comes to Covid and obviously because he kind of travels the world to tour um, he do I imagine he doesn't want to get um, affected because of that um, but yeah so that's just um, one part that's been um, changed for tonight's video um, so because I said that I'm not gonna be uh, doing like um, a get ready with me part of the video. I just thought I would show you guys uh, the makeup that I'm going to be using um, tonight and um, just kind of go from there. Um, so a lot of this makeup is kind of my um, sort of special occasion makeup if that makes sense. I don't wear all of this on a day to day apart from about four things. <laughs> um, yeah this is all um, sort of more expensive brands um, as we're going along but I'll start off with the kind of um, like um, more drugstore bought stuff if that makes sense okay so the first thing that I'm going to be showing you guys is the Rimmel London State in Matte Powder in the shade Transparent which is in the lightest shade because um, I have very very light skin and I've actually been using this um, for a good at least 12 years at this point um i'm just used to this powder um this is like what i was using the first the first few times i started wearing makeup and that when i was younger um and i've just kind of been using it ever since um next one is the isle of revolution strawberry whip primer um again this is a good primer um i was a bit torn whether to use this or my um new l'oreal one but i'm thinking because i don't really have much of this one left do i just use it up or do i use the l'oreal one um, so i might end up using one or the other but yeah this is a really good um primer and it's good as well if you have quite noticeable pores like i do sometimes um this is a pore blurring primer and yeah it smells really really nice as well it's like um well strawberry whip and it's like a creamy um 
kind of range if that makes sense um they have a coconut one i think they have a mint chocolate chip one and a banana one and they all smell really really yummy um the next thing is the revolution conceal and define define concealer and i use this in the foundation as well again um I can only really use Revolution stuff most of the time um, and this concealer is really really good. Um, the next thing is another Revolution product, uh, Makeup Revolution um, Eyebrow um, Duo. So um, we've got the little, eye, we've got the eyebrow part there, I can't remember what it's called, <laughs> uh, eyebrow pencil and then just a little spoolie at the top uh, just to kind of even it out. And then Onto the more kind of um, expensive stuff, if that makes sense. Um, so I, oh gosh, I can't, oh here it is, I've lost one of them. <laughs> so I bought, a, I actually bought a lot of this stuff in Boston um, and I was really, really excited to use it because I, I used all of it for my brother's wedding and, um, you know, again, because it was quite, because I spent quite a lot though as well, I don't want to use all of this makeup, like, on just a day-to-day -day basis if that makes sense so yeah this is like the special occasion ones um, oh yeah as well I'll also be using the uh, NYX setting spray that I showed you guys earlier and the uh, elf eyelid primer but um, yeah so first one is um, all of these four products by the way are by a Sephora's own um, stuff Sephora is honestly amazing I was so excited to go in there and they're opening one in the UK in a few months time I think they started the website yesterday and I tried to go on it and it kept saying like error on this page and I was like oh no um but yeah so first one is the um Sephora Lash Craft Length and Volume Mascara and then the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. Um, I was a little bit scared to use this one. I'm not gonna lie, just because of like my allergies and that. But um, no, I can use I can use this foundation just fine. I actually wore this in the my first video that I did, where um, we went to see the Elvis tribute. And yeah, this is really really good foundation. And then next one is Sephora Retractable Eyeliner. And I actually got this in a brown because I never used to wear brown eyeliners but this one's like this one's like very very natural looking it's not all like out there it's also got a little rubber at the end um so if you go wrong um at some point while you're doing your eyeliner you can just rub it off easily and then another sephora um product this is the samba sensation eyeshadow palette and as you can see i've been using it um, a little bit uh, so we've got the base colour here and then we've got three brownies at the top and then some shivers um, and I'm going to try my best and do a cut crease tonight but it could fail so don't hold me to that <laughs> and then next is the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, bronzer in the shade Rosewood um, again I haven't really I haven't really used this an awful lot but this is a really, really lovely uh, bronzer. And then finally, now I'm a little bit stuck with which one to choose here. So I'm stuck for lipsticks in terms, so I don't know whether to use Velvet Teddy or the Huda Beauty one. I can't remember, the, uh, uh, Perfectionist this one's called. Um, again, a lot of those products, the Sephora and the uh, Anastasia Be Beverly Hills and Huda Beauty were all bought in Boston. And then I just got MAC. I actually got this in Boots, believe it or not, of all places. But yeah, I'm stuck between these two lipsticks because they're my special occasion lipsticks. So I I will decide once I've done my makeup. So I'm going to get that done now and then do my hair. And when I see you guys next, I will be ready for going to see Navi. Okay guys, so I'm all ready now. Um, I'm currently wearing a dress that I got from Next, which cost about £30. Um, I'll just flip the camera over and show you. Um, I do apologise for my messy room. Also, um, I can't believe I didn't show you guys earlier. I forgot to show you my highlighter that I'm wearing. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills one in 
the um, shade Dripping in Gold and this is a stick highlighter. Um, it's a really lovely um, it's a really lovely shade and it's um you have a little brush at the end um let me do yeah here's the brush so you can sort of blend it out then once you've put it on and yeah it's gorgeous um so yeah so i'm all ready now just gonna get my bag ready and then my mum and i are going to pick up becky and then we're going to get something quick to eat and then we will probably see you in the brindley next yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, so we've not long arrived at the Brindley, um, I'm excited but I just want to say the merch, we've had, we have to go and get some cash because it's only a cash only. Which is a bit weird this day and age. Yeah, especially when we've been in a <laughs> pandemic and everyone's been paying by card but the lady has said that it should only be less than five minutes so hopefully we'll, be, we'll still be on time <laughs> and then... Um, hopefully we can get a drink possibly but if not we'll have to wait till the interval okay so we'll update you guys as soon as possible so this is the new bag that I got with cash <laughs> it's so nice I'm so trashy <laughs> okay so we're just waiting for Nabi to come around now guys it's too long Oh, I think we went to Someone just spoke. <laughs> I think he's a little bit not strict but like it's just because like if I filmed the whole show then that would stop people coming to see him and I don't like I can understand that like he's a he's a good guy but yeah he's a uh, is that noise is that my camera I don't know is it or is it no it's not my watch oh. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but yeah so I'll try so I'm only gonna film a few minutes of each segment maybe not even like all every single song so it might even be like one more song and then that'll be it but yeah it's really good up to now and he's brilliant so um we'll just wait for him to come back on now and then update you guys throughout That were, was that with were nice. Um, the I was dancing with a little girl, wasn't I? You were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like, she was very cute. Yeah, and Dad was just saying thank you to me then at the end of the at the end then. Um, and now we're just going to meet my mum. So I'll see you guys when I get home. Okay, guys. So I've not only got back home. Um, honestly, the show was amazing. Um, Navi always is amazing. Um, whenever I've seen him in the past. Um, I think this is my fourth time seeing him now, um, but yeah, I really, really hope that when, if I go, if when I go to see him next, that I can do the meet and greet, um, because I would really, really love to have a chat to him and just kind of ask him questions about what Michael was like, um, you know, how did he actually sort of become a Michael Jackson fan and things like that, um, 
not even just a fan, just like how did he become, how did he get so talented as well. Um, but yeah, if you ever do get the opportunity to go and see a Michael Jackson tribute, go and see Navi because he's honestly, he's the best in my opinion. There is a, there is other good ones, don't get me wrong, but I think because he's ha actually spent time with the man himself and, you know, he was his body double a lot. He was, uh, he played Michael Jackson in the film uh, Searching for Neverland in 2017. And he's a good actor as well. Um, and I think he just comes, he just seems to me like a really, really nice, genuine person. Um, again, I do respect the fact that he doesn't want the whole show to be filmed um, and obviously having sort of performance background myself, um, that is, a, you know, it's a completely um, understandable thing. Um, but yeah, Navi, if you happen to be watching this video at all, you were brilliant and I really, really hope I get to see you again uh, performing soon and do the meet and greet, hopefully. Again, um, you know, with the rising COVID cases at the moment, you know, it's understandable why he had to cancel it. But yeah, I really, really do hope that um, when I get to see his show next time that it can be a meet and greet, even if I just end up going on my own or something. But yeah, um, I really, really felt the um, atmosphere tonight. I, um, you know, like I said earlier, the people that we were sat with in our row were so so nice uh the girls that me and becky were sat next to were really nice the uh there was a man and his daughter there as well and i um you know i got i managed to get the his daughter up dancing at one point as well and like she was so happy um because i felt like she was she wanted to but i think she just needed like a little bit of a boost and i managed to i like i don't know it just felt good to do something like that for somebody else and uh because i know how um, it felt to be that age and you know liking Michael Jackson as well um, but yeah I'm just really glad that I managed to uh, do something good for some for someone like that um, and I got this bag um, yeah um, I'm really excited to start using this um, but yeah um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today and I will see you in another video i'm not too sure what my next one's gonna be i don't really have anything planned at the moment could just be a day out could be a walk it could be a haul could be just absolutely anything but yeah if you enjoyed this video today please 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 give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you would like to see some more from me and um please yeah if excuse me <laughs> um if you, like I say, if you do enjoy my content, please subscribe. Um, it will really mean the world to me if you subscribe. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye!